This is the sort of stuff, I prefer this sort of stuff. Yeah. See so when you get too serious. And it'd be more fun for, for him to edit as well. I thought we should you can get... off the artwork. That was really my only, All right. my only bit. <laughs> you got to get a little steam out of that. Get a little steam out of that. Hang on. Does that work? Yeah? You getting this? Wicked. <laughs> <laughs> This is Brighton. Not a place that I grew up in, but a place that I've spent an extensive amount of time in recent years. Um, what I like about the coast is uh, out there is so open. When I'm facing the ocean, I feel like my problems are behind me. And I'm just looking at um, endless possibility. It's kind of like a, I don't know, a philosophy, a spiritual philosophy, but it, it, it helped me find peace in a time of struggle. Uh, I no longer live on the coast, but I do like to visit here as often as possible, come and train, you know. My people, my team, all still reside on the coast. Um, even though uh, one of them would prefer to lie and uh, <laughs> make out that he doesn't live anywhere near here. It's very rewarding, especially in the summertime. You know, there's a, there's a lot to be said about the vibe you get down here. There's a nice energy. Bit too busy for my liking when it's like this. But nonetheless, I could find a little empty spot. Sit on the pebbles and uh, dream. Oh, look, there he is. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Put that cookie down, Shane. <laughs> Put that cookie down. <laughs> Rubbish. Let me see your receipt. I don't believe you. One toffee crisp. <laughs> Frozen crunchy yogurt. <laughs> With Starburst. <laughs> now this is something I was interested in doing, it was socks. Um, who? Is that what he does? He does socks, yeah. Does he really? Yeah, But no, you wouldn't buy them. But I would if it was five pounds or less. Some of them. What, for one pair? Why, man? One pair of socks. You can't wear them all the time. No, you don't need to. Wear them on your birthday. Yeah, I was one for Shane. Bacon. Bacon, mate. Shane loves bacon. Oh, I've got to get some water. Does anybody want any? Just some water, Moses. No, you're good. Where's your mask, Shane? Do you know what? If I want to wear a mask, I want a fucking Sub Zero one. We are now going to the seafront to do a little workout. Um, the king of the swing, Shane Kent. It's going to be the, the wizard on the pads. I'm going to do some, uh, some technical work. Some good stuff, get a little sweat on. Sid to stand there being cheerleader as he always does. He's got his uh, cock ring in the bag. I'm trying to follow my idols, that's why. Well, cock ring idols, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me some, 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 show me well, today's unfolding was, um, it's short and sweet. I mean, we come down here, I feel like I haven't been here for a while. 
especially with the craziness of the lockdown. Um, haven't been to Brighton, haven't had a chance to, to experience Brighton on the south coast, especially on a nice day like today. The sky is clear, the sun is uh, pounding down on us. Um, so I thought it was a perfect opportunity to come down and get some training in. Um, amongst, I guess, the organised chaos. I think the vibe at the moment is really nice because people are experiencing freedom again for the first time since the lockdown. And that provides a good energy, you know? The thing with Chai, he does things differently to a lot of other people. Why? You get a lot of other people that are doing their training and they're doing their training really well. Um, they're sparring, you know, once, twice, three times a week. He comes at things with a very different approach. An approach which is, you know, kept him undefeated through 12 plus fights in MMA. And um, it's an approach that doesn't require that beating the brain gets sometimes with the consistent punches to the head and uh, the, the, the continuous sparring. He comes to places like this, he gets his team together, a team was based around him and uh, he trains in a very intelligent way and he go wherever the people are. He can go to Brighton one day, he could be in Southampton another day, he could be in Liverpool the day after. You never know where he's going to be. He might be in Amsterdam, he might be in America. He travels and trains with the best people in the world. Daniel Cormier, Cain Velasquez. He's been about and so far his method seems to be doing him justice. So I can't knock it. It's not for everybody. Some people need that grind, need that grunt, need them punches in the head. But sometimes it's not necessary. And uh, he's living proof. You don't need to do that with the time.